Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I am the Franchise King. We are moving right along on the topic of the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research. Uh, I think you will find this whole series of commandments um, very, very useful as you search for that perfect franchise and do your due diligence. Let's go with commandment number four, which is create Google alerts. Now, all you need to do that is uh, a free Google account. If you don't have one, it takes a few minutes to set one up uh, and find uh, the area on the Google page marked Google alerts. Here's the kind of alerts you can create so you can get information on the franchise opportunities you're looking at sent right to your email inbox. Put in things like the name of the franchise, news. So let's say you're looking at, uh, I don't know, 1-800-RADIATOR. So you just type in, create an alert, and type in 1-800-RADIATOR news, 1-800-RADIATOR franchise news, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you happen to know the name of the CEO of the franchise or put his or her name in, create a Google alert, a separate one for that. In addition, you should create Google alerts for franchise opportunity news, franchise opportunity updates, franchise business news. There are a, a bunch of things you can put in, and you can even set up the Google alerts to uh, come in daily or weekly, which is, which is really cool. If you are uh, in serious mode and you're really, really um, uh, looking at franchise opportunities intensely, uh, I would definitely create Google alerts daily. Uh, I have about 30 or 35 Google alerts uh, for my brand, my name, uh, franchise ownership, franchise advisors, etc. So I get them delivered every day so I can keep up with what's going on in the world of franchising, the wonderful world of franchising. So that's commandment number four. Create Google alerts. It's simple, it's free, takes a few minutes to set up, and you will be able to stay informed with everything going on in the world of franchising and the franchise opportunities you're specifically focused on. It's amazing what you will see come up in your inbox. Commandment number five. Yes, we are going to do, do two today. Commandment number five is kind of, um, I don't know, you, you tell me what you think about it. Leave comments underneath this video. Uh, by the way, in, including um, uh, the comments you can leave, I'm going to a link to the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research, the blog post, so you can have that for access and you can bookmark it. Commandment number five, be nice to your franchise salesperson. Franchise salespeople are also known as franchise development representatives, and their job is to sell you a franchise, or in franchise speak, award you a franchise. And it really is an award for most franchise opportunities. Uh, however, Know this, and this is really important, this is not a slam against franchise salespeople because they need to make a living. However, they only get paid a commission if you buy the franchise that they represent. Make sure you know that. You know, their goal and your goal are, are, are kind of not aligned. You know, you're trying to find a franchise that makes sense for you. They're trying to sell you the franchise that you think makes sense for you. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Uh, so, but you have to be nice to them because they really control things. Uh, uh, the important thing they control is, is getting you in front of the franchise executives, the franchise team, and presenting you as a qualified candidate. So a qualified candidate is someone who has enough money for the opportunity, hopefully has the skill sets and is a good fit. All right. If they think you have the skill sets and the money, but they don't like you, you're probably not, not going to get very far, even though they get paid a commission for selling a franchise. You know, a, a franchise representative, a franchise salesperson that brings a lot of candidates that aren't qualified to the table won't last very long. So they really need to bring candidates that are qualified and that they like. So be likable. However, you need to be firm. If they are not answering questions the way that you feel they should be answered, you know, you need to kind of gently play hardball and say, look, you know, this is not the only franchise opportunity around. You're not the only franchise opportunity that I'm interested in. But, I, but you know, so I can look elsewhere. But so far, I like what I see. I just need you to 
to give me more information. You know, let's work together on this thing. So just be nice. But if you are not getting the information, you know, you need to find out uh, another way to get it. Uh, and sometimes the information they will not disclose comes from franchisees. So, so call them. But, but that's a different topic. Right now, I'm talking about the franchise salespeople and making sure that you are nice to them. In addition, there is an extra bonus. Let's say that you're looking at franchise opportunities and you haven't found one, so you take a little break or maybe you get a new job. A year later, you find yourself in the same position where you've been downsized or you are just, you're just fed up with, with corporate America and you decide to jump into franchising again. You find a franchise that's interesting, you contact them, guess what? The salesperson that you didn't really get along with is now the salesperson for the franchise that you're interested. He or she moved on. So, you know, don't burn any bridges. My late father always taught me not to burn bridges. Um, I didn't really listen that well, but it was, it was a good lesson. Anyway, so that is commandment number five. My name is Joel Labava. I'm the Franchise King. You can read all the Ten Commandments below. I will create the link right after this video. Thanks for watching.